Hello everybody, it's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. I want to bring you another home tour and it is going to be Perfection, our ocelot. So we're going to start right where her enclosure meets Breezy Bobcat. There's a nice big safety entrance between the two of them. We never have the cats in enclosures with shared walls. Other facilities that do that often have cats that literally will tear each other's ears or tails or legs off. Um, we'd never want anybody to be in that kind of danger here. So this is the base of Perfection's big old tree. It goes all the way up. Hope my camera will show you guys just how far. So in her younger years, she was very often up in that tree. But even at 24 years old, we're still shocked when we see her go up there because she still will. So this is just one of her bubbles. She has, again, tons of natural foliage, palm trees. She has ferns. This is a nice den here. She spends a lot of time in there. This is her official feeding lockout. So her feeding lockout is just a box extended off the side of her main enclosure. It has a guillotine door to it so that if we ever need to capture her, to take her to the vet, or any other reason why we would need to move her or just get a really up close view of her, we could call her into her feeding lockout, close that guillotine door, and then the vet can look at her or we can put her in a transport cage from there. So she has a raised um, bowl of water, an elevated bowl there. There's a ceramic plate on top, and we do that just to help keep debris out of the water. And we elevate it because wild cats love to pee in water. It's the way that they can keep predators from tracking them, because it's just gonna wash away. <laughs> but here at Big Get Rescue, we want them to have fresh water as long as possible. We refill them every day. But by the end of the day, if they've peed in their water, they don't have fresh water. So we make sure that we lift it so that that kind of cuts down on that issue. We also put all of those stones below the water just to keep the earth from washing away. And then anytime it rains, it becomes a stagnant puddle that's gonna attract mosquitoes and all that kind of stuff. So this is still the same large bubble. All the bubbles here are between 12 and 1800 square feet or larger, depending on the species. So let me try to show you back this way again. Lots of space for our little ocelot. Here is another safety entrance, a double door system if we ever need to go in this side or the side she was in, we would just have to shift her to the opposite side, lock up the door, and then we would be good to enter so that we could do any kind of maintenance. She has yet another lifted water bowl here. We sanitize and refill uh, water bowls and clean their feeding plates every single day. Here she is. Hi, beautiful. This is Perfection Ocelot. She is 24 years old. 24 years young, right? She's like, did you bring me something? It's almost that time. <laughs> she is an evening meds cat. She's like, oh, no, you don't have anything. So this is a very cool platform. You can see that it's sort of a rotating staircase. So she can go to the very, very top. There's actually a flower pot up there that she really likes. She spends um, a lot of time up on that top level and the way it works is it's just like a spiral staircase. So she has to go all the way around. I'll show you from the other side. One more beautiful view of this girl. She's almost unreal looking. She's so perfect, which hence the name Perfection. <laughs> Grumbling at me. So you can see that she just kind of would wind her way all the way down. It's very cool, but it can be very time consuming at meds time. You have to give her a treat on every single step. So over here, you can uh, see a better view of the guillotine door. So that's the doorway she walks through to go to that whole section I already showed you. And down here is one of her Kularu beds. I've seen her go under it. I've never seen her on it but it's a big hit with a lot of the small cats. So 
nice picture of her. So right around the corner here is yet another little den for her. She does like this one a lot too. Of course, she's a rainforest cat, so usually in rainy weather, it's not too, it doesn't affect her too much. She just kind of hangs out in, on her platform in a tree or in one of those dens. It's got tons of different hiding areas on the ground too, as far as the ferns and this big palm here. Give you another view of her tree. And then we are right back to the other side where we're at that safety entrance between Breezy Bobcat over here and Perfection over here. Again, this is her climbing tree. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much for watching these home tours. Hopefully you enjoyed getting to see Perfection Ocelot and her home here at Big Cat Rescue. Um, we are able to give these cats all the amenities that we can because of great supporters like you. So thank you so much. If you have other questions, just go to bigcatrescue.org cages.